Good morning, people. I think it's still the morning yeah, about 11.04. So, got up this morning, decided to head out, do some drawing, and then I started noticing online that a lot of people were asking a question about um, basically resizing or reformatting your webcomic to fit for Webtoon uh, format, basically the 800 by 1280 pixel uh, format that they have. Um, and so I'm doing a webtoon too, and I know it took me a while to figure out how to do it. And so I decided to do a quick tutorial, at least for Procreate people, anybody using Procreate, things like that. Um, so I'm just gonna try to do a quick tutorial real quick of what I do um, to handle this situation. I basically do my entire comic, or I'm doing my entire comic, which will launch in August um, with Procreate. I also use a comic draw. Uh, in order to do my, my text and word bubbles and whatnot. So, here we go. So, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and find a template that I already created. And so, basically, how I'm doing my comic, I'm doing a strip of six panels. This so will also give you a sneak peek of what I'm doing. And basically, my comic is not really divided, per se, because I actually do want some of the images to bleed into other panels so when you scroll on webtoon uh it's kind of seamless in that way i don't have just boxes you don't go from box to box to box to box in that way and so basically the first thing that i did was go ahead and find the the size of the template which is the 12 uh the 800 by 1280 um if i take away the the actual image you'll see it better i've divided everything into green and blue boxes each one of these boxes is 812 by 1280 and so there's six going all the way down this helps me keep track of basically what i'm drawing into or uh where i'm at in the drawing in that case and so this is after i've already did the complete illustration so everything is done and so i can see where each division is because of my template that i have right there and so now I need to basically cut this because you can't upload this size image into Webtoon. You need to be able to cut it into 800 by 1280. So I worked at 300 DPI. I believe this is 300 DPI. It might not be. Let me double check real quick. No, this was at 250, but I can work. You can work at 300. Um, so looking at this already, it's about seven. What did it say? 7,680 by 800. So it is the exact size across the top we're going up and down is like six times the actual size that it's supposed to be so now all i need to do is go ahead and split this into each individual panel so all i have to do with that is select one of these and then generally i just cut and paste it and it puts it right back in the same spot but i was on the wrong layer so let me go ahead and undo that real quick. And we'll do this again. Um, so as I said, I just select that and select the layer of the image and then cut and paste it and puts it right back where it's supposed to be. As you see right there. And that's just basically a perfect cut of the exact size that we need. And so I'm gonna do that to the entire strip and so everything will be split in the sizes that it's supposed to be. All right, so I got all that done. As you can see here, I got everything split. Now I got that one layer that's empty. That's because you wanna go all the way down and even cut the last uh, frame and then paste that. So it should be an empty layer when you're done. And you just go ahead and delete that. And now that I've already done that and got everything done and I can just delete all these. So don't really need those anymore. And so now I got every layer sliced the exact size that it's supposed to be. You see here, I got it still set up in the same format that I want it for when you scroll. But once again, that's not going to fit. So now 
Now that I got this many layers, I basically got six layers. I'm gonna go back and the other reason why I deleted all the layers and got it down to the six layers is basically once I resize this, you're only going to be able to have, I think about 10 layers at the size that I'm gonna do it at. And so it's good to go ahead and reduce it to down to whatever you need. All right, so then we go into canvas and we're gonna go to crop size. All right, so you see my, see what I have it at right here. And so now to get it to the right size, basically the 7680, as I said, is, is the right size times six. So that ratio is already okay. So all I need to do really is just multiply this 800 times six, all right? So we're just gonna go ahead and bump that up to 4800. So now we have the exact size of one panel. So go ahead and hit done. Then it crops that canvas. Now we got the canvas the right size. Now, I have, as you notice, I haven't taken anything out of this canvas. I haven't moved anything into this canvas or anything like that. Some funky things start happening with Procreate. I don't understand when you try to move one image to another uh, canvas that's a different size than that canvas. That's part of the reason why I try to figure out this way to do it. But now this is really actually the very easy part of doing this. Because now all I have to do is select one of the layers, select the image on that layer, and then just fit it to canvas. Now it's the exact right size that it's supposed to be. And now I just do this to every layer, like so. And so now I have a, each panel to the exact specification that it should be. Not only that, it's cut in a way that I don't have to worry about seams when it scrolls because each panel bleeds into the next one. So when I get a seamless bleed and the panels are each the exact size that they're supposed to be, as you can see here. Once you get used to doing this, it gets really quick, especially if you have a keyboard, because then cut and paste becomes really easy. You know, you just uh, basically hit Command X, Command V, and you'll be able to, that'll cut down a lot of the time of what this takes. Now, the final step in this that you do have to do to make sure that it fits right, because at this moment, once again, it's 4,800 4, by 7,680 which is too much because this image size is now probably well over two megabytes, the limit that Webtoon allows. <clears throat> so that's easy to fix. All we gotta do is go back into crop resize. We have the dimensions right there. This time, instead of just doing one, I'm going ahead and resample. And now I just change one and go back to 800. As you see, it barely did anything because it's the right size that it's supposed to be. And if you look, everything is 800 by 1280, right where it needs to be. So now when I hit done, now it's the exact right size. Now all I have to do is export these images individually. And all I, really that all that takes is just sticking to this one, hit share, and then I can share in the format that I want. Webtoon takes JPEG. So I would export as a JPEG and put it in the file you don't want to export to your photos because if you do it to photos, you won't be able to upload it um, through Webtoons if you go to the desktop browser via your iPad. You have to take it to files. If you do it as a photo, you'll have to uh, transfer that to a PC in order to actually upload it. So once again, you just individually save these and that's easy as just what I just showed you, close that one, go to the next one, do the same step. And now each one should be under two megs. And that's about it. If you got any questions, please comment any questions. Also post any links that you may have to any other tutorials that might be able to help people with this problem.
Um, hit the like button, hit the follow button. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, my name is Al Stewart, uh, Indigo Inc. Uh, follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Thank you very much. Have a good one.